Stop ruining my movies with your wokeness! Okay, so I'm going to do a very brief, um, my, a very brief review of Endgame. I just came out of it. Um, let me say first, if you have not seen it, do not continue with this video because I don't want to spoil anything and I'm not, I'm not trying to give away spoilers, but there's so much to this movie and it was so good, but there was so much to it. I don't want to, there's even, even something small could, could ruin something for you and I don't want to do that. So if you have not seen it yet, stop this video right now. Like it, subscribe to the channel, but stop this video and go see it first and then come back and watch it afterwards, okay? Deal? Deal. Okay, so moving ahead. The movie itself as a movie was fantastic. It was a great way to wrap up the whole last decade or so of all these movies. Um, they were fantastic. I did enjoy it. I cried. I laughed, I screamed, I annoyed everybody because I'm that person in the theater that's yelling at the characters on the screen, kill him, or whatever it is, but I, um, so I did, overall, I will definitely give it, give it all the stars and everything, I really did, as a, as a movie, as a whole, as an for entertainment value, I did enjoy it, okay, so maybe four stars, not all the stars, not all five, we'll say, we'll say maybe four because I did have some complaints about it, which I will not share with you. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. So, yes, okay, okay. So I did not bother going to see Captain Marvel in the theater. Um, not, I mean, I'll watch it someday when it comes on Netflix or something, but it was not one of those that I really feel like going out of my way to see because Brie Larson is really, you know, she's, she's, she's had her mouth just runs too much for my, for my taste. I, I don't really appreciate some of the things that she said and her, um, just her, I, I, whatever, whatever. Thank you very much. So like I said, I won't go out of my way to watch it, but I have no problem maybe later or whatever. But there was the, the whole feminism thing there. It was interwoven in there. Good for them. Yay. Women. Yes. We're strong. I get that, good for y'all. You know, there was the scene where it was all the females and I'm like, okay, that's obligatory, you know, to, to feminists or whatever. There is, in in my, the way that, okay, this is my humble opinion. So again, if you don't want to agree, you know, this is just my opinion, that's what these videos are. There is healthy feminism. There's a kind of feminism that says, yes, I am strong as a woman. I do have, um, I can do things men can't do. Men can bring babies into the world, women can. Don't throw the trans stuff at me because that's all scientifically altered. But at the same time, if you were born with XY chromosomes, unless you are some, you know, um, the one in whatever, you know, like hermaphrodite or something. If you were born with XR chromosomes, you don't have ovaries that produce eggs that turn into babies. That's only on the women with XX chromosomes. So that's, you know, go women. Um, men, men have their strengths and women have theirs. And that's okay. It's okay to have different different things. We I've, I've told people before, uh, you know, when there's joking around about how you know how BA you can prove yourself. I said I don't have to do anything. I pushed a human out of my body with no pain medication. I have nothing left to prove for the rest of my life. I have proven that I am a total BA. I'll show them. I'll prove that I can be. I'm okay with that, but. So the whole, but the, the thing that got me with the, the, the feminism part, it wasn't even the focus on the strong females so much as it was tearing down the males. And I will say, I feel like that's kind of what they had to do here. Okay, my phone got too, my phone got too hot, so I had to put it, put the screen over it and wait for my phone to cool down a little bit. So anyway, they, the biggest gripe that I had with this movie was not the focus on the strong females. That's fine, good for y'all. But, but when women have, when you have to start emasculating the men to make the women look stronger, that's when I start having a problem. And that's what really irritated me about this movie. Because they took the two strongest of the Avengers, which are undeniably Thor and Hulk. You can never deny that they are the two strongest and turned them into 
total pansy, wuss, emasculated soy boys. They totally did. They ruined Thor. Oh my gosh, that's why I'm angry because they ruined Thor. Okay, they ruined Thor. Thor is the hottest Avenger. Thor is abs and that hair and those eyelashes and that voice and everything. And he was none of that. I kept waiting and he was none of that. I was furious, furious. And, and Hulk, there was no, he is such a disappointment. Such a disappointment. Women, women, you can do things that men cannot do. Men cannot bring life into this world. They cannot, they cannot push out a baby. Don't give me this trans scientific whatever stuff. No, 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 no. You have XY and XX. And if you have an XY chromosome, you cannot bring babies into this world unless there is some scientific weirdness happening with you that they're putting stuff in you. Naturally, no. So here's the thing. I'm so tired of women. This is the thing about feminism that annoys me is that you have not normal like how women are strong and all that and that's great but when you have to start pulling men down beneath you to make yourself look stronger that's crap well actually that's I don't care I don't care who you are if you when you have to start pulling other people down period to make yourself look better you're you're not getting better you're just being awful you're lowering yourself no. It's not a reflection on what you can't do, but it is also kind of a reflection on all the. It's can't do. just that you, you just, you just not that strong. So, so, so that was what bothered me. Was the most was the the just you know taking the 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 strongest ones and no, that sucked. So that's the only complaint that I have about the movie. The only complaint that I have. Um. But I did notice something that I found, other than the whole the whole woke feminism crap or whatever, the symbolism that I thought was interesting. And I don't I don't think that this is a, a, you know I'm not I'm, I'm not giving any kind of call to action for it ever, but it's just something that I noticed was the comparison that I, I saw. Speaking as a Christian. I'm a, from a, a Bible-believing worldview or whatnot, it seemed like the parallel was almost like it was comparing, well, first of all, first of all, Gamora, in the first film, you know, um, Thanos sacrificed her to get the soul stone, right? So she was the father's sacrifice. Um, then you had Nebula, who was... Uh, and and, and, and um, Gamora was his favorite, his favorite. Then you had Nebula, who was trying to please him, and she was always, and she just never could, no matter what she ever did. She was the scapegoat. She never, she never could please him, and so she eventually turned against him and sided with the, the with the Avengers to fight against him. And Thanos, not only did he cause half of the people to disappear. And uh, there was one part where they showed like the wall, and they called him the Vanished, um, which, to me, kind of, kind of, sounded almost like the Rapture, because the Bible says that we will just disappear, we'll just be taken. So, you know, that's kind of a thing, and it's God who's going to take us. And then Thanos was talking about how he was the creator. He was, I'll just tear down the world and create it anew. And 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 they said, oh, created in blood and. And um, so it seems to me like, you know, um, the Mormon religion believes that Jesus and Lucifer were are God's two oldest children, that we're all God's, you know, like we're all God's literal children. Um, but Jesus and Lucifer were the two oldest, and they had a fight, and God favored Jesus and threw Lucifer out. That's that's what they believe. But you know, the Luciferian religion, that is that is the the ones who won't admit that they, they're they're not Satan worshippers, they're Luciferians. Um, you know, they present they in their religion, uh, their story, like the story of the Garden of Eden, does not is not how God had Adam and Eve in this lush paradise and then um, Satan tempted them and, and they fell and got thrown out. That's not their version of it. Their version of it is that God had Adam and Eve imprisoned 
in the garden because he was cruel and that Lucifer, uh, by convincing them to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, freed them. You know, he's the, the good guy, the victim of, of the evil, evil, you know, God or whatever. Help, help, I'm being repressed, bloody peasant! And so it just kind of seems like like the parallel that maybe I saw was kind of that same thing, kind of likening Thanos to God. And um, like I said, like Gamora was the um, the sacrifice, and and then you had had Nebula because and Nebula had like more screen time. She was out of all the females, she was the one that had the most screen time. Um, so I just found that interesting. I'm not saying you know that I'm just found that very interesting that uh, that that parallel was there, but. Other, those are the two things that I noticed about it. But overall, like I said, the movie overall was great. It really was. I did cry. There are some, there are some parts, but it, it was, it was pretty, you know, it was a pretty emotional movie. Um, so anyway, so that's my, uh, my take on it. Again, I didn't want to go into a lot of stuff because I don't want to spoil a lot of stuff, but, um... I think that overall the, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been very entertaining. It's been very fantastic. Um, you know, yeah, there's there's obviously, you know, Hollywood always has it's it's Hollywood, but I, I, I think they've been great movies, and I'm so I'm really happy that I think they wrapped it up in a really good way. So um, yeah, so that's it. I would love to hear your comments. If, uh, if you think I'm just, you know, at least you're kind of reaching, which is something that probably my family would say, but you can look for anything. You can find anything if you look hard enough for it. I can't, where's my other sock? But, uh, or if you say, you know, you think, oh, that I had, didn't see it that way, or I thought the same thing, or if maybe you saw something that I didn't see, I would love to hear it. So, um, feel free to leave comments and, um, don't, don't forget to like like share and subscribe please subscribe to the channel I, I have my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers so I think I have like four at the moment at the time of this recording so yeah thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing your comments and uh, peace out you guys love you bye <laughs> <laughs>